Say good words. That's productive. Do you know every word you utter is an investment, opportunity. You either allow that investment to succeed or to flop. So you can choose your words in order to better the returns. Listen carefully. You can choose your words to better the returns. You know, in this country, we talk business, big deal, mashallah. Everything is number one. So we thank Allah for that. The same applies. Let your speech be number one. May Allah correct us. I mean, we are human beings. Sometimes we say things, you know, we are a little bit hard sometimes, but we need reminders. Before you speak, tell yourself, what I'm about to say will have a fruit. What I'm about to say will have a fruit. Will that fruit be a good fruit or a bad fruit? I'd like it to be something that will be beneficial, benefit others. So even in your own family, speak with respect, good words. That is so productive because your child will speak beautifully just because they heard you speak. You know, when we speak slang, the children speak slang as well. Someone might say, well, what's the problem? The problem is productivity is reduced due to colloquialness, due to getting involved in slang. You know, when we are not professional, sometimes we discourage people from mixing with us, from coming to us, from wanting to have anything to do with us. So productivity is cut. But if you speak well in the home to the people everywhere, you are very, very uh, well spoken, well presented and so on. That is part of productivity. You feel good and automatically you present a picture. The others who mix with you, they feel good automatically. You're always smiling. A smile is so productive that it has been made an act of charity. You know, charitable deed means you're reaching out to people who need it. That's the meaning of the term charity. You're being charitable. So I don't realize that I need people to smile at me. But when I smile and I see others lighting up and smiling and I feel good, then I realize the impact of it on my own emotion and my own psychological condition at that particular time. Amazing. So you smile. You have a good look about yourself in the sense that give people a nice look. You know, to look someone in the eye when you're greeting them. It's part of the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa You greet them properly. You know, some people half-hearted, they give you two fingers. It's like a gun. I, I shot you at the top and I shot you at the bottom. That's not how you're supposed to greet someone. You greet them for whole hand, mashallah, and you shake their hand properly. Assalamu alaikum, how are you my brother? Good, good things, mashallah. Don't ever go into details that make them feel like you're putting them in the corner and it embarrasses them. No, don't do that. You know, I have a habit. I don't like to ask people, brother, where are you working? What's your salary? Uh, how did you get the job? Is, uh, when was your last, uh, you know, promotion? It's none of your business, my brother. When you start asking people too many questions and you start interfering in their lives, they feel uncomfortable. And what will happen? You have already cut a link with them from their hearts. They don't want to mix with you. Why? You ask too many questions. It happens with the brothers nowadays more than the sisters. There was a time a few years ago when they say that was a quality of the women. Now, no, 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 no. That's a quality of all of us. We have a habit. Sometimes we ask unnecessary questions. Brother, I had a man who told me, how much do you weigh? And I said, hey, come on, relax, man. How much do I weigh? What's the big deal? He says, no, you're a sheikh. A lot of the sheikhs are big. You know, I said, so what? You know, how much do I weigh? Why are you asking me the question? So if people ask you that which is irrelevant, you are distancing yourself from them and them from yourself. When you greet someone, assalamu alaikum, how are you, my brother? How's the family? What's going on? Mashallah, you might want to say one or two nice things. And that's it. You smiled at them and you went away. You've left an impact. Next time they meet you, they will greet you. My brother, how are you? But when you ask questions, they see you another time from a distance and they've gone through the other door. Why? Because, hey, that man, watch out. When he talks, oh, it's the, you won't hear the end of it. He's going to involve in your life negatively. 